solve a word problem with cubes. For this video, I will be using page 8 in your Ready to Mathematics instruction book. Seth ate nine grapes. Then his dad gave him more grapes and he ate them. Seth ate 15 grapes in all. How many grapes did Seth's dad give him? To solve this word problem, you can use the cubes model. Each letter in the cubes model stands for a different step. C stands for circle. Circle the important numbers. U stands for underline. Underline the question. B stands for box. Box the key action word or words. E stands for examine the question. Ask what information do I have and what do I need to find out. Finally, S stands for solve. Solve it step by step. For this video, you will explore the first four steps in cubes. Solving it will come in the next video. Let's take a look. Remember, Seth ate nine grapes. Then his dad gave him more grapes, and he ate them. Seth ate 15 grapes in all. How many grapes did Seth's dad give him? Step one in the cubes model is circle. What are the important numbers to circle in this word problem? Circle them in your math book, too. You should circle nine and 15. Next, underline the question. The question is, of course, the one with a question mark. You underline the question so you know what it is you are trying to find out. You are trying to find out how many grapes Seth's dad gave him. That's what you're trying to solve. Underline in your math book. Next, box the key action word or words. Though I could see a few different words being boxed here, I think the most important one is more. More tells you that you can add to solve this problem. If Seth starts with nine grapes, is then given more, and ends up with 15 grapes, more means you can add to solve this, also by counting on. E stands for examine the question. What information do you have? You know that Seth ate nine grapes. You know that his dad gave him more. And you know he ate 15 grapes in all. What do you need to find out? You need to find out how many grapes Seth's dad gave him. How many more? Continue on through the lesson to find the next video where you will solve it.